Hey guys, Travis here on the second day of week two of the LCS Summer Split with High from Cloud9 fresh off a win against Vulcan. High, that game was uh, pretty crazy. It started extremely weird. Uh, you guys are normally tower hungry, but you guys were like tower famished at the beginning of that game going off stuff. Uh, was that something you guys have practiced before or did it just sort of come about just by the situation? Um, it just kind of came about the situation. It's just I feel like everyone like went through the game super like hyped up and stuff because we wanted to uh, make up for the loss yesterday. So everyone's just going like even more aggressive than normal, and then we just got free turrets because they didn't save them, so. Uh, what do you think they needed to do there? Was it just like send their jungler top lane and have him hang out and do sort of like tri lane thing, or what, what could have helped them? I think what went wrong is x tried to come gank me mid, so Nasus was already top turret, he's already up there pushing, and he came to waste time mid, so by the time he came bottom, we already killed the top turret, and we were on the second turret. So they traded like one turret for two, and they just lost so much pressure from that, and he just wasted so much time, or time trying to kill me mid, so he shouldn't have gone mid. Now, there was a really interesting uh, Bloodwater uh, tornado that happened to steal Baron. Uh, why did that happen? From what I understand, tornadoes do less damage than Smite. So what happened there? I don't know. It's just sometimes they get stolen by things like that, even though like a 100 damage tornado Q. Who, who would expect that? You know, we didn't see it coming. I think it's just like it was getting hit and he wasn't paying attention because like we were trying to zone Elisa and Janna and someone was like hitting the Baron, I guess. So like when it got really low, he wasn't paying attention. So then like... I don't know, it just happens. And uh, just before this interview, we were discussing how that game uh, seemed to go on for a lot longer than um, I expected. You said the same thing. Uh, why do you think it just sort of dragged on for so long? Well, we kept, like a few of the dives we did, we would kill one person, but that's all we would get. And like we both died. Like that one time we dived Kogma bottom, me and Balls both died for that. And so we had to like stall it again. So like we kept dying for no reason, which delayed or like took the pressure that we had gone. And then once they took the Baron buff, like you... If you get Baron buff on a team, then you can stall out the game for like another three to four or five minutes or so. And we didn't want to risk a fight. Like if we got aced while they had Baron, that'd just be like GG. So like we just had to like uh, calm down a bit, just farm up and just wait for the Baron to go off. So yesterday you guys lost to CLG. I actually saw just randomly, I saw Sneaky uh, whenever I was out at dinner yesterday. I asked him what happened. He's like, well, so much of that was uh, bans and picks, uh, although it carried into the game also. But uh, do, you, do you think, do you sort of agree with that assessment that a lot of that game's loss yesterday was just the ban and pick uh, situation? It definitely affected it, but I think the, the reason we lost was because the way we went into the game, like the week previously, like I said before in the stream or whatever, when I was doing the interview, they, uh, I said that we had bad practice and we didn't go into it prepared. Mm -hmm. So we went into the game, we picked Cannon, none of them played it, so we wasted our first pick and they took Jace from us. So that was like a, he was like, very big deal against us because we couldn't initiate, we couldn't like poke them out or anything like that. So we did picks wrong, we did bands. Well, bands were okay, and then we did practice wrong as well. And then when the game went, when we went into the game, they got a double kill at level one, and it's just like at the point in time that team comp that should be behind was actually tied with us, and that shouldn't have happened. So it just kind of went bad for us. So, you know, why why do you say you why do you think that you guys went into yesterday's match with less practice than the week before? Was there something happening or were you distracted? What what occurred? I think we were just kind of complacent with how we did and we got a little bit too cocky, so to say, probably. Because uh, when we were doing uh, scrims and everything, we just weren't paying attention to it. We are just like, we'll do better at land, we'll do better at land. So while we were losing more scrims than normal, we just had that mentality. And that's a bad mentality to have. So we're just going to try and fix that mentality for next time. There seems to be an issue that a lot of the LCS teams have talked about where they, they feel like in scrims they don't really focus and, and think about it the same way as they do when they're at the studio, and that sort of affects their practice. Do you think that that's just something that a lot of, a lot of teams are going to struggle with and they just sort of have to figure out a way to overcome it? I think so, at least. Because like, if you ever read the, uh, the community post or anything on like Reddit or anything, everyone always says scrims don't matter, scrims don't matter. But that's actually not true. If you go into most of your scrims trying to win, you win most of them, and you just bring the same level of head into these games, then they'll generally... Generally, uh, same thing will happen for the most part. So, like before uh, the relegation or whatever, we won like 90% of the scrims by far. So, like we went into the relegation very, and we played extremely well in there too. And then super week, we were still winning like 80 to 90% like of our scrims, and we went into did 5 0 This week, however, we went into our scrims, we did like a 50% win rate. So it's just like, at least as far as for me, stats show that winning scrims and trying your best in them is actually like relevant to how well you do. Oh, really good. I like that answer. So, uh, sort of at the end of this interview, do you have any shout-outs, plugs you want to say? Yeah, of course. Um, thanks to our sponsors, I Buy Power, uh, HyperX, Crunchyroll, Cooler Master, and... Those, those awesome headphones? Astro. You got my back. He's got my back. Sorry, Astro. Yeah. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, any, anything you want to say to your fans? Um, thanks for uh, uh, supporting us and being there, being on the hype train with us. We're six one now. We're gonna try and do better. And uh, follow uh, me at hi underscore l nine and follow our cloud nine gg. It's that for Twitter and Facebook. Very good. Well, hey, thanks a ton for the interview. Congratulations on the win. For everyone, this is Travis on the second day of the week two of the summer split of the LCS. You can check out the rest of our coverage at gamespot.com slash LCS.